For almost 40 years, Pulitzer Prize winning photographer John White has captured the vibrancy and poverty of African American communities in Chicago. His portraits of African American youth are among his most powerful. John White's work is currently on display in the second floor gallery at the Chicago Temple. We welcome John White along with Reverend Phil Blackwell, senior pastor at First United Methodist Church, and we welcome Vincent Shane, a photography student at the School of the Art Institute in Chicago and a member of First United Methodist Church. What got you into photography? I started as an artist. Okay. I wanted to be, I love art, I love expressing myself that way. But uh, discovering the, 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 the camera, mm -hmm. the art of photography was a simpler way of me expressing myself and capturing the moment and preserving it. How does that fit into Chicago Temple? Well, photography, you know, okay, I'm a photojournalist by the title and the, and the card. Mm -hmm. um, under the umbrella of photography, there's this whole visual thing, and it's something that everybody relates to. And so, photography is about people. People, mm -hmm. uh, or ordinary people, uh, young, poor, rich, educated, uneducated, all those who wants to see and communicate and feel, because everybody feels the same thing, sees the same thing. And so, uh, the, the the Chicago Temple, First United Methodist Church, is this, uh, this um, I don't use to refer to church as a vehicle, but it's this, okay, this place for people. Mm -hmm. People, the diversity of people, diversity of the world, a diverse of cultures. And I think what, what greater place to, to share one's work than in the church? Because the church has been this, and continues to be the springboard for my work. Mm -hmm. Reverend Blackwell, did you feel the same way when you see his work? Yeah, I, I always felt that the church I mean, just look historically, has been a, a benefactor of art. Just go to the Art Institute and see all of the great work of the first thousand years of Christianity, both in, in the art there and then all the music. Mm -hmm. But uh, photography being a relatively new medium, uh, it was uh, pretty obvious that, that if our congregation could be a place where great art is shown, in this case, uh, in, the, in photography, then uh, that's, that's what we ought to do, and particularly here in the middle of the city, get people in, take a look at what, what there is to see. Now, having said that, the fact that is John White's photography makes the difference because what John sees, and what he's just said in terms of seeing people, seeing their eyes, seeing the, the moment, is, uh, is really revelatory. I, I admire what he does because I can speak a thousand words about his one photograph, and, uh, and he's still more eloquent. So it's a, it's a very happy combination of what, what he does and where it's now being displayed. Now, you're also, Vincent, a member of Chicago Temple. How did you get interested, interested in photography? My mother's a photographer. She was a, my grandfather's photographer. And with my mother, I'd go out with her while she shot. Mm -hmm. So I'd hold a bag. I'd hold a tripod. I'd move the stuff. I'd hold her timer, tell her when to, when to close the shutter. And so I've always been surrounded by photography. And then when I, when I went to school, I was not a photographer yet. I was still going for elementary education. And I was doing art classes. And I was really enjoying my photography classes. I realized all my time was being spent in the dark room or in the color lab or working on that stuff. So I, I decided to change my photo change photography. And I've been very happy with, the, with that choice so far. Have you found yourself incorporating your faith into your work? I have, and uh, more more recently, uh, one of the one of the major projects I'm working for for the school right now, I'm doing on my personal faith and trying to use my photography to step through my faith. So. It's like storytelling. What do you, uh, John, want people to get out of the pictures? What stories are you trying to tell in this in this particular exhibit? The stir of humanity, the stir of people, uh, ordinary everyday life. Um, I think I think er, er, and, and, and each person has a song. I mean, everything's important. Uh, the somebodyness in each person. So I, I just want to just my work to be a simple mirror of people. Mm -hmm. They see themselves and, and and meet other people. I mean, that's the way you meet people through through photographs. Uh, and 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 just get a, a glimpse of, of my my journey. Just a small glimpse of peep of of some of the things I've seen, some of the things I feel. And to be sure that in the walls of, of the gallery, Chicago Temple. Reverend Blackwell, what do you expect the congregation to get out of seeing 
this art form in the gallery of the mm -hmm. church. I think both for the congregation and anyone else who happens by, uh, I want people to see how many different ways there are to express faith and also to sort of capture the humanity that John's talking about. Uh, there are certain stylized ways we do it in church through worship and preaching and choral music. Uh, but to be able to grasp it through the purely visual uh, is, for a lot of people, a, a language that, that they understand even more easily than, than the spoken word. But also I want people to think when they walk into an art gallery that's in a church uh, to recognize that, that, again, the church is expecting there to be some connection between art and the world and the church and that the church is not just some relic from a time gone by, but that it's really about what is happening. And with John's work as a photojournalist, every day taking pictures of what's happening in the city, some of them ending up on the front page of the local paper and sometimes around the world, he's got a great eye of what is happening right now. John, I'd like to take a moment and look at some of your pictures and discuss the background and your statements that you've made about so some of those. we're going to walk over to the gallery? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> this is a picture of the late Joseph Cardinal Bernardine, Archbishop of Chicago. Uh, I did two books on Cardinal Bernardine, This Man Bernardine and The Final Journey, but uh, this is a man that I, I, I admire so much, respect so much, and who was always, uh, there was a picture, he was the children, so he was always connected to his subject. He was a, a child one-on-one, -on -one, eye to eye, heart to heart, down on their level, and the same with anybody he, he communicated with. Do you find it important to capture famous people as much as ordinary people, or do you have a preference? No, I, I, to me, the, the, I love people, okay? Mm -hmm. And so I don't distinct, there's no distinction, because it, 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 it makes it shudder, mm -hmm. and it's the same. Yep. But uh, there's a joy, special joy from ordinary people, you know, those who, don't get the opportunity to be photographed or be in the paper or, but to bring that, they know they're important. Mm -hmm. You know, there's somebody care about their song, telling their story. Now this picture is a baptism? It's a baptism. It's, uh, this picture is, is, I think, I would call it the, the springboard of my career. It's a baptism in the South in, in Charlotte, North Carolina by members of the United House of Prayer for all people. But uh, uh, th th this picture, I think, represents the spiritual of this, so all that I do, I mean, it's the church. I was born on a Sunday morning while my father's at church. Uh, uh, you, all, you was a preacher. He was a preacher. That is right. Uh, so the church has been a springboard, mm -hmm. everything I do, I mean, uh, all my work. Uh, it's that uh, place in life where I can get my, my, my fuel mm -hmm. to, to, to go on a daily basis. How did you get that shot? I love children, and, and I love children a lot. I was trying to, I'm a child, I'm a child of heart. I don't, I don't want to grow up. But sometimes you're out on a playground and people see you with the camera and they must have, must have take my picture. And if, the, if they ask me to take their picture, most of the time I would get in the conversation, what are you gonna be? What are you gonna do? And, 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 and it's, a, it's a means to connect with them. But that day I was on the playground and all the youths were just swarming me and I ran and they followed me and I jumped. They, I, I saw this trampoline and I went in there and they <laughs> just ran up and I took the picture and, and disappeared. <laughs> but that's the thing, there, there, there's there opportunities in everything. I mean for me it's a picture that I remember but for also for the children there was, they were happy but also the cameraman gave them an opportunity to let them know there's somebody. Now you say a particular phrase, keep in flight. Can you explain where that, came, where that comes from? There was, a, there was a gentleman in my life named Bishop William J. Walls, William Jacob Walls of the Amy Zion Church. He was my father's bishop and he was a great bishop. And in 1974, he did an introduction to a, the book. He called me once a day and said to me uh, a lot of things, how to be, how to, and I don't remember all the things he said, except I remember the last thing he said was, John, may God keep you in flight. But thank you, John White, Reverend Phil Blackwell, and Vince Shane. I'm Tamara Love with different drummers. Keep the faith.